Yo, what's good guys? It is JD here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Nomi Spent Road to Glory. Another day where 2K have done a good. We've got a free Galaxy Opal Clyde the Glide added into the game today, which is very nice. So I'll tell you guys about his challenges. We are flying on XP. We made 7,000 XP in a two-hour stream today when I wasn't even like particularly going for XP. So only 3,700 away from level 39 and D-Rob is going to be here way sooner than I expected at this rate. We're also going to talk quite a bit about Limited. So the last video you guys saw was on Saturday and we'd played one game of Limited. We had to play quite a few more than that to get our ring but we did manage to get our ring and we also got quite a few packs as well. So we've got five packs, four throwback moments packs, one retro pack and an Inferno Deluxe pack to open up here as well and then we're also going to take a look at Galaxy Opal Luka Doncic. I put a bid on one earlier, we didn't get it but we're going to have another look and see if there's any that we can buy. So let's jump into it today boys. If you are new to the channel make sure you go ahead and subscribe for daily streams and daily videos and a huge thank you to the goats of the channel for their support. Eric, Jason, Cody, Spooky, Caleb, Liam, Josh and a shout out to my guy Aiden. So 3,700 away, still need to apply a shoe as well for an easy 100 and do the triple that online for 250. And we come down to Galaxy Opal Clyde Drexler. Card art looks fire. Man's out here with the wings. We've already done these seven triple threat offline games. You need to win four games, or not win, sorry, just play four games of Unlimited. And you get 750 per game of Unlimited. That's mad. And 400 per game of uh, triple threat online. So in total for this whole section, 8,000 XP, and you don't have to win a single game. So that's brilliant, and uh, we're definitely going to get this Clyde. I don't know when we'll get him. Um, we're obviously in the Galaxy Opal tier in Unlimited, so I don't really want to play it for fear of losing, but I guess we've got to play four games and get it out of the way. Why not? That's that's a really nice looking card, so I'm happy about getting that. And they also added in Season 5 LeBron Week Four challenges. We've already got his points in the paint done. He only needs 20 more points for 1500 XP and 10 assists in a single game for 250 XP. So really, really easy stuff there for another 2500 XP. So that just leaves two final cards and that is it. There's 14 out of 15 of both sets that are now in game. Both of them coming out on Friday. This one right here is a pink diamond De'Aaron Fox and this one right here is a pink diamond Ben Wallace. So one of those cards is going to be a weekly challenge like this, so four quarters of it. Uh, what have we had so far? We've had Tyler Hero, Colin Sexton, Jarrett Allen, and Manu. So three modern age and one golden age. So I don't know, maybe they'll make the Ben Wallace the weekly one, and then Pink Dumb Jaron Fox will be something different. I don't know, but that's very cool. And uh, yeah, Clyde the Glide looking very damn nice. So in terms of the XP, we've just done that. We did the LeBron stuff. We did the hero somebody. Who did we do? Assist for Tyler Hero. We did that. And only five more assists for Jaron Russell for 1250 XP. So I think actually tomorrow, boys, is definitely going to be tomorrow. Tomorrow will be our level 39 Hall of Fame badge pack. So make sure you come around for that because we also only need two challenge games for 1250 XP. So oh my god. It's ridiculous. Triple the offline, we are now over the 850 wins mark, which is where that Inferno Deluxe pack has come from that we're going to be opening up in just a minute. So 147 dubs needed. Uh, so we've won 100 since Season 5 came around. And uh, obviously Game 4, we've got Don Ole. Since then, nothing. And then we've got Spotlights. We've played one more game. So very, very slow progress. Oh, it's so slow. I hope we get some progress. So I hope we get West Island at some point. But right now, I don't even know if I'm going to. Unlimited, obviously, 0-0 oh, in the Opal tiers. We do need to play four games. If we lose one, it's a GG on the season, let's be real, because seven wins to get no reward. I don't know about that one, Chief. And then let's talk about my team limited. So, we do have our ring. We did manage to get our ring. Uh, we got four. We only need four as well, because I'm just taking the Hall of Fame badge. I'm not going for Opal Power Gasol unless they make him unbelievably good. Uh, but it was a bit of a crazy weekend in limited now usually it takes me like five games and that's it and we get the ring and gg job done this time round we got through our first 10 games and we hadn't even seen the ring like not even seen it once not not got it hadn't even seen it um and then we played one final game and i said on stream i was like right this is gonna be the last game now in the first 10 games i went left every time but on the last game i was like you know what i'm gonna switch it up we'll go to the right and on the last game on the right for the first time was the ring, we clutched out, you love 
to see it. And this is the team that I use. So we had Amethyst Zach Levine, Amethyst TLC, Amethyst Dino Raja, Pink Diamond Blake, just because he's the only Pink Diamond center I had really that I wanted to use. Didn't really want to use K Love, Wayne Embry, a little bit small. Uh, and then at the point guard position, we had the Galaxy Opal Hero Steph, courtesy, of course, of 2K. And my god, this card is fun. My god, this card is just. It's just fun. It might not be the most meta card in the world, might not have the best defense, might not have the best driving, but it is just fun. He was knocking down. One game he finished with 81 points. 81 points in a game of limited, which is four minute quarters. One game he had seven threes in the first quarter. The card was mad. So the card carried us to pretty much all of those dubs. Um, nobody else did anything, really. Uh, Dino was all right. You know, it's fun to use him. And you know, Blake was kind of just there. But it was all about Steph Curry. Uh, he was mad good. And thankfully, he carried us to all the wins we needed to get our ring. But of course, along the way, we got a few packs. So throwback moments, Southwest, Atlantic, Northwest, Pacific, a retro 2K pack, um, and an Inferno pack, and then two badge packs as well so let's get into these and let's see if we can get lucky today so a gold tyler shooter that is not in the uh the lucky category next up dead eye right now is about 10k so i wouldn't mind getting a dead eye badge because the d rob he is well that badge is expensive a bronze range extender never going to turn that down we'll add that to the other 100 range extenders that we've got and let's start with some of these throwback Packs. So we've had good luck out of throwback packs before. Of course, we pulled a pink diamond Mitch Richmond, which was, I think, the third or fourth one up on the auction house. We got like 200k for him. That was a huge pull. It's been a long time since we've got something that's been crazy good. But I know I have had things that have been crazy good, so I can't expect anything. But I think since we got, you know, those uh, Opal, Jamal Murray, and then James Harden, we've probably opened about 100 packs which is quite a lot of packs. We did get Pink Diamond Draymond, who uh, sold for 70k. Um, so I guess that's you know, paid back a little bit. But uh, let's see what we can get out of these ones. Any shakes. No, out of, out of six packs, it'd be nice to get one shake, what, one shaky shake. But I think we're through half of them right now. Inferno Deluxe, obviously, we've had some good luck out of Inferno packs this year. You know, that's where it all started, boys. The first Opal pull of the year. The first really good luck pull of the year was that uh, Galaxy Opal LeBron James, which I still can't believe happened. Um, so you never know. We might might do a little something, something out of that. But first of all, we've got the retro pack. So let's see if we can get ourselves a pink diamond Paul George, I guess. I don't even know who sells for the most out of this set. Uh, it's no shake out of this one. So if we're going to get a shake out of six packs, it's going to be coming from this Inferno pack. Now, I have heard people get things out of this pack. It is a deluxe. Let's see. Taking a while to load up. Maybe it's just loading in that uh, that shaking animation. And it's not. It is not. It is a Ruby Mike Miller. Big sad. All right. So the packs were uh, as disappointing as you would expect. Uh, we come down here and I've got 44 auction outcomes, but only one thing to cash in, and that's that diamond contract. You know, I'm thinking, the hell are you doing here? I'll tell you what I'm doing here, boys. It is St. Patrick's Day this Wednesday. I'm sure you've seen on the daily logins, everybody's going to get a Celtics player because of St. Patrick's Day. Um, so we've made a few investments, you know, a couple of Scalabrinis, Draymond Green, Jeff Green, literally one Gerald Green, uh, for obvious reasons. Um, other investments you could do, people called Patrick, other Celtics players, Larry Birds maybe, I don't know. Uh, but these are what I've done. It, it's something light, it's nothing crazy. There's other people called Green as well, there's like Jermichael Green and Danny Green, etc., I just bought a few. I'm not going crazy. I don't know if they're going to do XP challenges for it. I'm not overly fussed if they do or if they don't. I think we're going to get D-Rob comfortably, even if they don't do anything, uh, which is obviously a pretty damn good position to be in. Right, let's get ourselves a little bit more XP. So let's just go ahead and add this to... Um, sure, stick by now. Why not take that shoe? And then let's talk about our next big purchase. Now, tomorrow, and I've mentioned this before, I do think it's going to be Age of Heroes Super Packs. We've got every Age of Heroes card in here now. We've had Super Packs every Tuesday. Oh, actually, did we? Yeah, no, we've had Super Packs every Tuesday. It just makes sense. They want to get people to lock in for these sets. They want to get the most that they can out of these sets. And, you know, with one player left to go on both sides, and that being an untradeable card, it just kind of makes sense. And uh, the player we're looking at is, of course, Galaxy Opal Luka Doncic. Now, 
One badge I'm looking to get on this card is Hall of Fame Clamps because off rip he only comes with it gold and that is a badge that you can add to him to make him quite a bit better. So this one's got one extra badge, it's not Clamps though. And right now he's selling for you know just shy of 300k. If I can get one of them, I do want to get this one, the Age of Heroes one, just because of card art. It just does look sick. Um, it's on with 29, but yeah, sadly, none. Hall of Fame Showtime, is that a, is that a new one? It's not, he's already got it. I mean, this card is already stacked, like, does it really matter? Not particularly. I mean, I guess we might actually throw a bid on one of these. So, I mean, this has got a diamond contract. It doesn't have a diamond contract, but it's got a diamond three-point shoe on it. And that is a good shoe. So, for fear of him maybe not being in Super Packs, or for fear of 2k not doing Super Packs... Oh my god, hey, people are really at 300k already? I mean, alright, I, I see you, and I don't blame you. This card is brilliant. Got 260 on this one? 280 on this one? Okay, so people people already really liking that Luka Doncic is, and uh, yeah, compared to Lonzo, there's no real question about it. Like, he just is better. And as for the main team right now, that's the only thing I'm looking at upgrading. You know, Moses Malone, I'm going to keep it real. He's coming out of the team in a few days. When we get D-Rob, he's out. Paul George is amazing. I don't really have any questions about that position. Dirk, fantastic. Don't really have any questions about that. Kawhi is elite. I hate Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame steady. So damn much. I wish I could get rid of this badge so badly. Uh, but yeah, other than Hall of Fame steady, Kawhi is unreal. So... It is just that point guard position. A few people have said to me, you know, what about Magic Johnson? I've used this Magic, and he didn't really do too much. He didn't have the Magic. Um, he wasn't that guy. I have only heard good things about Luka. I don't think I've ever heard a bad word about this card. So, unless they drop another crazy point guard, but I don't know who they could... Maybe like a Ben Simmons. They drop a Giannis point guard position, and that's, that's going to be going crazy. Um, I, I think this is going to be our guy. So, let, let's try and put a bit on this one. I know it's not got anything extra... Nothing added to it, but like, he's already got 26 Hall of Fame badges. He doesn't really need anything too crazy. By the looks of it, if we can get one for like 275, I'm going to take it. So we'll put a bit on that one, and we will see tomorrow what we're going to get. And of course, tomorrow is going to be a new uh, set. It's going to be a new country. So, so far, we've had obviously France, we've had Spain, and we've had Australia and New Zealand. Let me know who you think it's going to be tomorrow. I'm thinking maybe Germany or maybe Canada. I think one of those two is going to be it. So we'll get a new exchange tomorrow. But as usual, it's just going to be the exact same as uh, Stephen Adams, as Ricky Rubio, as Evan Fournier that we did. There's going to be two cards. You have to play TTO to get them or open VC only packs. It's just not exciting in the slightest. We'll get a new spotlight, which is going to have another like 1,000 XP to it, which is nice. Uh, we did actually complete him. That's one thing we did. We completed Jose Calderon's XP right here. That is not Jose Calderon's XP. Uh, where is it? Down here somewhere? Jose? There we go. So we completed Jose Calderon's XP. Really nice and easy. Um, you know, 1,000 XP for that. Doddle. So that's going to do it from me today, boys. A couple of packs down, nothing to really show about it. Uh, but a Galaxy Opal that is free, that is really damn good. Like, really, really good. Will be in quite a few people's teams, I imagine. Especially given the fact he's free and the fact that he looks like that and he looks awesome. And we'll definitely have him in the next few days. And tomorrow, come through, we'll have our level 39 Hall of Fame badge pack. And fingers crossed, that could be something good. That's going to do it from me today, boys. Hope you have enjoyed. As usual, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.